Hey everyone, it's Trish with Bird Feed. Welcome back today for some more ideas and inspiration for packing Operation Christmas Child shoe boxes. I know quite a few of you got a chuckle out of my sharing the recent Barbie box on National Barbie Day this past Thursday. And I've really gotten into this National Day calendar and I saw that today is National Worship of Tools Day. <laughs> yeah, there's a day for that too. So today on National Worship of Tools Day, I want to share with you one of two boxes that I have packed for 10 to 14 year old boys that I'm calling Nailed It. They're relatively identical. There are Oh, a few differences um, in colors and, you know, graphic on the t-shirt, that sort of thing. But they're otherwise identical. So this is a tool themed shoebox, but I've given it a Marvel spin because tools are pretty serious and I was trying to take the seriousness out of the box. It's hard when you're packing tools. Um, but the paper is marble, as you can see. And inside the box, I decorated the lid with some Spider-Man packaging that I had from, oh, I think it was an advent calendar of socks. And when he opens his box, he's gonna see a backpack. It's just the way everything fit. I had to pack the backpack on top. And this box, it's a little bit bigger than I typically um, use, but I needed it to fit the tools. So right on top is a backpack. I had said in a previous video that I had quite a few backpacks and I was going to try and pack as many as I could this year. And this one came from Walgreens for 80 cents again. I, I bought whatever they had at that time. That was back to school before last I got that deal. And he's got a pencil pouch filled with the standard items I put in all of my pencil pouches, pencils, pens, erasers, ruler, scissors, pencil sharpeners. Since this was a tools type shoe box, I tried to put as much fun in it as I could so it wouldn't be so serious. Um, I gave them a game. This one's magnetic checkers. The other box has magnetic chess in it. And inside, I utilized some of the space to include some other items. His comb, uh, a little mending kit, that was from Joan. Actually, I think I put two in here. Yeah, I put two mending kits. And a fingernail clipper. And this is one of those, uh, they used to be called erector sets. It's a small little building set. The box is in, in the bottom of this box. I've collapsed it so he would have the picture of it and I'm hoping that he figures it out when he finds that box at the, at the bottom of his shoe box, he'll figure out that that's what this is because there's really nothing on it that would tell you that. And I couldn't fit anything else in this tin. And believe me, I couldn't fit anything else in this box. So here are the illustrated instructions and this one builds a little helicopter. It's all, it's all metal. These are now made by Make It Blocks, I think, at the Dollar Tree. And then, of course, his uh, checkers game is in here as well. He's got an Avengers coloring and activity book with a jumbo Avengers eraser with uh, those nice crisp pages and kind of more mature type coloring in it. So 
I think this works great for a 10 to 14 year old boy. To color in his coloring book, I gave him a box of colored pencils and his tools are in this nice case. This came from Walmart on clearance for $4. It was a kitchen tool set that was unmarked clearance in my stores. I only found one, but my friend, Denise L, was kind enough to send me another. She found three in her stores and she sent me one. So I have one in both boxes. So this is what it looks like, like this. And in this little spot right here, was one of those twist up knives, like a, an X-Acto knife kind of thing, or a box, box cutter knife. So we can't send a knife in our shoe boxes, but all the other tools that are in here are acceptable to send. So in this elastic band, I stuck some zip ties. Now, there's a lot of hollow pockets in this when it's closed. So I filled it up. I put his calculator in there. He's got a pocket solar calculator. Uh, and this was contributed by my viewer friend who I refer to as Sally. He's got a couple of bracelets. One is a paracord bracelet and the other is like a stone bead bracelet. Both of them I got on Shein. Uh, this was like 75 cents and this came in a big package of like a dozen. So it was inexpensive as well, but I think a boy this age would enjoy having those. I gave him a yo-yo. This is one of those alloy yo-yos and I gave him some replacement string. Now I'm not a big yo-yoer, so it didn't even occur to me that they might need extra string for their yo-yos. <laughs> but my friend Denise L, who sent the second one of these tool cases, had given me this idea. She bought extra string for yo-yos that she has sent in the past. And I thought, oh, wow, that's a great idea. It never occurred to me that if you use this enough, your, your string's going to break. So I decided to do that. I added extra string. He's got a flashlight that I got for a quarter at Walmart on hidden clearance or um, unmarked clearance in the sporting goods department. So if you can find these in this color. They got in new colors, which I think is why they mark these down. But these navy ones are a quarter in some stores. Some stores, they're 58 cents. So he's got a flashlight and it's got batteries in it. And I gave him another package of batteries. I also slipped his toothbrush in here and one of those Subway Surfer keychains with the carabiner on it. And I also gave him extra carabiners. I got, I bought some extra carabiners on, I think, Tamu uh, for inexpensive. So I added those. I bought a box of nails from Dollar Tree. I put those in there. What else? I think that's, oh, and I also fit a fidget spinner. This was a contribution from Val, V. Swain's Shoebox Sundays. So is that it? I think that's it. So I fit a lot of extra stuff in there. I don't know why I was trying to keep those things in this um, case because I can't show you what's in it. In the case, he's got a hammer, a 16-foot tape 
and needle nose pliers and then he's got a multi screwdriver that has all different bits to go into it and a pair of utility scissors in addition to the zip ties that I replaced the knife with. So it's a nice little case but like I said it's got a lot of space in it so that's why I filled it up with all this stuff. He's got a cool Marvel t-shirt. I love this graphic. It's the Mech Strike Avengers, the robotic ones. And I think, uh, boy, this age will really like this. Now, this is in a size 18, and the one in that box is also an 18, but um, it's Spider-Man. It's a Spider-Man t-shirt. And it's a really nice quality shirt. So an 18, I know it will definitely fit a 14-year-old. It's going to be a little bit big on a 10-year-old, but the boys will wear them big. So I don't have any qualms about that. He's got one pair of Fruit of the Loom boxer briefs, a couple of pairs of socks. He's got a um, basic pair of crew socks and a pair of Marvel socks. Um, I'm not sure who this is. Iron Man? That might be Iron Man. And in that shoe box, his socks are Spider-Man. Now, I could not fit a Marvel stuffy in this shoe box. I have some, but I just couldn't fit it. Um, they're, they're pretty big, relative to the size of a tie beating baby. So I gave him Buzzy, the buzzard. <laughs> This Ty Beanie, I thought he was funny. He's got a bag of marbles, 50 marbles, and a shooter. Just basic marbles. And three bouncy balls. These have the earth on them. They're clear with the earth in the middle. I think they're pretty cool. These came out of a package of Valentine's. After Valentine's Day clearance at Walmart, I think there were eight in there. I recently found this Black Panther journal at Walmart on clearance for $2. It came in a big set. It was a boxed set of the journal. It has lined pages in it with Black Panther on it. And a couple of pages of Black Panther stickers and six Black Panther gel pens of different colors. So in addition to his colored pencils, he's got these gel pens. And this was like $2. I don't know what it was regularly. I want to say like $9.99. But I thought that was a really nice set and a, a great deal. He's got a spiral notebook for when he starts school and a Marvel Avengers magazine. It's, it's like a uh, comic book type of magazine and it has activities in it as well. So I think a 10 to 14 year old boy would like that. This was a quarter at the Dollar Tree. Um, if you can find these magazines, there's Disney princesses and a couple of other different Marvel ones and a Spider-Man one and what else? Uh, Frozen, a couple of different Frozen ones. If you can find them, bring them up to the register. They should ring a quarter. He's got a ruler that I, I just left it in the plastic so it doesn't get all scratched up. And it has uh, inches and centimeters on it. Here is the little uh, make it blocks heli oh it's a helicopter what did I say it was I forget what I said it was but it's a helicopter yeah so that's what was in his little tin here he's got a Hulk stress ball this came from the Dollar Tree and it's 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 a true stress ball I mean sometimes you get these things from the Dollar Tree and they're like real squishy real soft this one's not it's, it's like a true stress ball. I slipped this little toy skateboard into a little cranny in the shoe box just to add 
some more fun. I gave him a few more sheets of stickers, some funny ones that have dinosaurs and sharks and funny planets on them. And then some more planets and crystals and stars and letters and numbers for his journal. And he's got a card with a note from me and a photo inside. Oh, and I forgot to mention in this box, instead of Hulk, he's got Captain America, I believe. And instead of Buzzy, he's got a German Shepherd. I forget what uh, his, his name is. He's a Tybini as well. And that is my nailed it shoe box for a 10 to 14 year old boy. I hope I nailed it. <laughs> I really tried adding a lot of fun to this. I hope I was successful. If you enjoyed this one, please let me know in the comments. Hit the like button. If you're not already subscribed, consider subscribing and I will catch you in my next video. Bye now.